many have talked about Trump being Jacksonian, like Andrew Jackson, and, and Trump is a fan of Andrew Jackson, which is ironic. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Andrew Jackson, if you can, and why people see uh, Trump in Jackson or vice versa. Well, you know, he has his picture, but I still think Steve Bannon told him to put the picture there, and he probably, probably doesn't really know I anything probably, about right. Jackson. Mm -hmm. but, but Jackson, at the time, he had very little political experience. Um, I mean, as everyone has pointed out, I mean, he did serve in the military, but he carried a bullet next to his heart from a duel. So he was known for his duels, for killing someone in a duel. He carried a hidden sword in his cane. So he was known as blustering. He was, uh, people were afraid that he was an autocrat. So he was, he was not seen as one who was level-headed. He didn't have, uh, yes, he, he had legal training, but he, he didn't even recognize that you know, the normal pattern of the three branches of the government. He assumed that the courts and the executive were co-equal branches, which really meant he was in charge. Jackson was Trumpian in the sense that he believed that he imbibed the will of the people, yeah. that he automatically expressed the will of the people, um, that he didn't have to read or study. He just knew instinctively what was best for the people. And he rewarded loyalists he gave them the best land when he was in a, in a position to distribute land taken from Indians to his closest confidants. Uh, he, he promoted people who were not always the best educated or the best informed, but people who were loyal to him.